Greetings! Manta Ray 79 here, and welcome back to another deck profile video for Card Fight Vanguard Deer Days! Alrighty then, let's get started, pressing the A button now. Loading game and proceeding. Here we are in the main menu, off to edit deck menu. And now, in today's video, the deck profile I'm going to be making one for is... Keter Sanctuaries, Majesty Lord Blaster, D-Booster 6. And I'm going to be using this... Keter Sanctuaries, Majesty Lord Blaster, D-Booster 5 deck as the base of the deck I'm going to build. Alrighty, let's get started, pressing... A button, edit deck, entering edit deck, and off we go! Here we are, and like I just mentioned before, the deck I'm building in today's deck profile video is a... Keter Sanctuaries, Majesty Lord Blaster deck, made up of cards only available up until D-Booster 6. So first, let's go to the filter settings and to pack, show only cards from, D-Booster 1, Genesis of the Five Greats, D-Booster 2, A Brush of the Legends, D-Booster 3, Advance of Intertwined Stars. D-Booster 4, Awakening of Chakaborty. D-Booster 5, Tribal Return of Brave Heroes. Festival Collection 2021. Festival Collection 2022. Promo Pack number 1. And last but not least, wait, hold on, there's so last but not least. D-Booster 6, Blazing Dragon Reborn. Applying Filter. And now let's get started. First up, the Grade 3 lineup. For the Grade 3s of this deck, we are playing... Right deck, Grade 3, Majesty Lord Blaster, Skills for Skill, Continuous as a Vanguard. If your soul has a Blaster Blade and a Blaster Dart, this unit gets plus 2,000 power and plus 1 critical, active on opponent's turn 2. And second skill, Auto as a Vanguard. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, perform all of the following. You can choose to perform only one. First ability, cost, put a blaster blade from your rear guard into the soul. If the cost is paid, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. Second, second ability, cost, put a blaster dart from your rear guard into your soul. If the cost is paid, this unit gets drive plus one until end of turn. Super Majesty Lord Blaster, it's the main grade three to run this deck. It's skills for skill. As long as the conditions of the first skill are met, not only do you get more power for offensive and defensive purposes, but also get plus one critical to make it easier to pressure or finish off your opponent with. Any second skill, depending on which cost you have available for the skill, you can either use the second skill of Majesty Lord Blaster to either wipe out your opponent's field of rear guards or to increase your drive check by one to increase the chances of getting a trigger or both, depending on if you can get both Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark on your rear guard when you attack with Majesty Lord Blaster. And okie dokie, the Grade 3, Majesty Lord Blaster, we have one in the right deck. And four, total three in the main deck, total four, leaving it that way. Next up, the Grade 3, Knight of War Damage, Fasado, not playing this card anymore, taking it out. Then the Grade 3, Normal Order, Bravery to Stand Against, Will to Pierce Through, not playing this card anymore, taking it out. And of that, that just about covers these decks. Great 3 lineup. Now let's get on to the Great 2 lineup. For the Great 2s of this deck, we are playing Right Deck, Great 2, Blaster Blade, Skills for Skill, Auto. When this unit is placed on the Vanguard Circle, Counter Blast 1. If the cost is paid, choose some of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. If you do not retire, then draw a card. Second Skill, Auto. When this unit is placed on the rear guard circle, cost Counter Blast 1. If the cost is paid, choose one of your opponent's grade 2 or greater rear guards and retire it. Super Blaster Blade, it's the main grade 2 to ride this deck with its skills the first skill. Just by riding Blaster Blade by paying the cost, you can either wipe out your opponent's field or rear guards or to restock your hand of more cards by drawing one. Any second skill, just by calling Blaster Blade the rear guard and paying the cost, you can also, just like the first skill, wipe out your opponent's field of rear guards. And affirmative, the Grade 2, Blaster Blade, we have four in the deck, one in the right deck, leaving it that way. Next up, 
the Great Two, Knight of Loyalty, Bedivere, Skill, Auto. When this unit is placed on the rear guard, so good from hand. If your Vanguard is great through your greater, cost counter blast one and soul blast one. If the cost is paid, search your deck for up to one Knight of Friendship K. Call to rear guard in the same columns as unit and shuffle your deck. Super Bedivere, a pretty good card to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation decks, especially for Majesty Lord Blaster with skill. Just by calling Bedivere and paying the cost, you can search your deck for a Knight of Friendship K to later boost from the back row for your Bedivere's attack. And alright, the Great 2, Knight of Loyalty Bedivere, we have four in the deck, leaving it that way. Next up, the Great 2, Blaster Dark, skills for skill, auto. When this unit is placed on the Vanguard Circle or Rearguard Circle, cost Counter Blast 1 and retire one of your auto rear guards. If the cost is paid, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. And this unit gets drive plus one until end of turn. Second skill, continuous as a rear guard. During your turn, if your rear guard was retired this turn, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. Super Blaster Dark is one of the main grade twos to play in this deck. If it's skill, the first skill, just by riding or calling Blaster Dark by paying the cost, you'll be able to wipe out your opponent's field of rear guards. And second skill, as long as the conditions of the second skill are met, your Blaster Dark can serve as a potential 15,000 point attacker for the front row. And okay, the great two, Blaster Dark, we have four in the deck, leaving it that way. Next up, for the next great twos we're adding in this deck are, let's see, great twos, great twos. For the great two we're playing in this deck next is... The great two... The great two... Knight of Inheritance, Emmeline, skills for skill, auto. When this unit is placed on the rear guard, so good from hand, cost, soul blast one. If the cost is paid, look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to one unit card with Blaster in its card name. From among them, call to rear guard or reveal it and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. If you put a card into your hand, choose a card from your hand, discard it. Second skill, auto as a rear guard. When your unit with Blaster in its card name attacks, this unit gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn. So for the Great 2, Knight of Her Inheritance, Emmeline, a support card for the Blaster series, like Majesty Lord Blaster, with its skill, the first skill. Just by calling Emmeline to the rear guard by paying the cost, you have the chance to get either a Blaster Blade or Blaster Dark to call to your rear guard, or a Majesty Lord Blaster to Persona Ride with, depending on what card is revealed by this first skill. Any second skill, just by attacking the Blaster first, you'll be able to add power to Emmeline. And the best part about this second skill is it's stackable. If you manage to fill at least your front row of more blasters, Vanguard and Rearguard included, if you choose to attack with them first before Emmeline, it's possible to continue stacking power onto Emmeline for each blaster you attack with. Okie dokie, the Great Two, Knight of Inheritance, Emmeline. We have, we are going to be putting in, putting four into the deck. Four is good. And with that, we just about covered the deck's Great Two lineup. Now let's get on to the Great One lineup. For the great ones of this deck we are playing, Ride Deck, Great One, Little Sage Marin, Skills for Skill, Auto. When this unit is worn upon by a Great Two Blaster in its part name, look at the top seven cards of your deck, choose up to one Great Two with Blaster in its part name from among them, reveal it, put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. If you did not reveal a card, choose a Wind Doll Brave from your soul and you may call it to rear guard. Second skill, continuous as a rear guard during your turn. If you have three or more units, this unit gets plus 2,000 power. So for Marin, it's the main great one to ride his deck. If it's skill, the first skill, just by riding a great two blaster on top of him, you have the chance to check the top seven cards of your deck for a great two blaster, blaster blade or blaster dark to add to your hand to later help you in your later game strategy. And in the off chance you fail to get a blaster of this first skill, you can instead call Wing Gull Brave from the soul to serve as a booster from the back row. Any second skill, as long as the conditions to second skill are met, your Marin can then serve as a potential 10,000 point attacker for the front row or 10,000 point booster from the back row. And affirmative, the great one, Little Sage Marin, we have one in the right deck, leaving it that way. Next up, the great one, Painkiller Angel, not playing this card anymore, to get out. And next up, the great one, Aegis Mirror Dragon. Sentinel, perfect guard, skills for skill, continue with Sentinel, second skill, auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, choose one of your units and it cannot be hit until end of battle. If your hand has two or more cards, choose a card from your hand and discard it. 
So for Aegis Mare Dragon, it's a perfect guard for the Keter Sanctuary Nation. Like any other perfect guard in the Card Fight Vanguard Training Card game, it features the same skill and activation when used to guard with, and while paying the cost of discarding one card from your hand, you can block your enemy attack. But Aegis Mare Dragon also features an ability unique to all D standard for it for guards. When used to guard with, while you have less than two cards in hand, you will not have to pay the usual discard one cost, making Aegis Mare Dragon a potential no-cost perfect guard against in desperate last resort situations. And all right then, the great one, Aegis Mare Dragon. You have four in the deck, taking one out, only playing three. Next up for the great one lineup, we're putting in the great one, Blitz Order, Elementaria Sanctitude, skills for skill, Continuous Sentinel, you may only have up to four cards if Continuous Sentinel a deck. Second skill, Continuous, you may only have one Elementaria Sanctitude in a deck. Third skill, Order, if your opponent's Vanguard's Triple Drive, this ability can be played without paying the cost. Play it if it costs of, discard a card from your hand if your Vanguard is grade three or less. If the cost can pay, choose one of your units and it cannot be hit until end of battle. Remove this card. And so, for the Great One, Elementaria Sanctitude, it's the Blitz Order version of the Perfect Guard. Like any other Perfect Guard in the Card Fight Vanguard Training Card game, it features the same skill and activation. When activated and paying the cost of discarding one card from your hand, you can block one attack. But ideally, Elementaria Sanctitude is an ideal card to play against opponents who play decks that specialize in having triple drive. For example, Great Four or Vanguards that increase their drive check by skill or card effect. Against such opponents, your Elementaria Sanctitude can serve as a potential no-cost perfect guard. And... Alright, the Great One, Blitz Order, Elementaria Sanctitude, we are putting one into the deck. That's, that's fine. Next up, for the Great One lineup, we're putting in... For the Great One lineup next, we're using... The Great One... Over here, the Great One. Armor, Piercing, Knight, you gain, Skill, Auto. When this unit is placed on the rearguard circle from hand, if you have a Vanguard Blaster in the card name, cost, discard a card from your hand. If the cost can pay, look at the top two cards of your deck. Choose up to two unit cards from among them, calm the rearguard as rest, and discard the rest. So from your gain, it's a support card for the Blaster series with its skill. Just by calling to the rearguard while the conditions for skill are met, as long as you're willing to pay the cost, you have the chance to fill up your rear guard with two new cards at rest to later serve as attackers or boosters in your next turn. And affirmative, the great one, armor piercing net you gain. We are putting in four into the deck. Four is good. Next up, the great one, Knight of Friendship K. Skill continuous as a rear guard. During the battle, this unit boosted a Knight of Loyalty Bedivere. This unit gives us 5,000 power. So for Knight of Friendship K, it's a support card for the Grade 2 we revealed earlier, Knight of Loyalty Bedivere. For K, it's skill. As long as the conditions of its skill are met, it can serve as a potential 13,000 point booster for the back row, ideally for Bedivere. And okie dokie, the Great 1, Knight of Friendship K, we have 4 in the deck, we're leaving it that way. And with that, we just about covered the deck's Grade 1 lineup, now it's time to go to the Grade 0 lineup. For the great zeros of this deck we are playing, Ride Deck, Great Zero, Wing All Brave, Skill, Auto. When this unit is rolled upon, if you went second, draw a card. So for Wing All Brave, it's the starting unit of this deck. Like any other starting unit in the D standard format, it features the same skill and activation. When we're on top of, if you're the second to go in the game, draw a card. So for Wing All Brave, we have one in the right deck, leaving it that way. Next up, the trigger lineup. For the triggers of this deck we are playing, the Great Zero, Blade Feather Dragon, Critical Trigger, Skill, Auto as a rear guard, at the end the battle student boosted, cost for this unit to your soul, if the cost is paid, choose one of your units and it gives us 2000 power until end of turn. Super Blade Feather Dragon is a powerful critical trigger to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation decks with its skill. After boosting attack, regardless if the attack is or not, as long as you don't mind moving Blade Feather from your rear guard into your soul, not only do you get to build up your soul for later soul blast, but you can also give a little extra power to your remaining attackers in your field, vanguard or rearguard. Alright, the Great Zero, Blade Feather Dragon, critical trigger, we have four in the deck, leaving it that way, next up. The Great Zero, Knight of Heavenly Hammer Gurgit, Critical Trigger. Not playing this card anymore, taking it out, and in its place, we're putting in the Great Zero. The Great Zero, 
Daring Knight Saul, Critical Trigger. We are putting three into the deck. Three is enough. Next up, the Great Zero, Protection Magic, Parabi, Draw Trigger, Skill, Continuous as a Guardian. If your opponent's Vanguard is great through your greater, this unit gives plus 5,000 shield. Super Parabi is a powerful draw trigger to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation decks with its skill. When used to guard with for the conditions of its skill are met, Parabi can then serve as a potential 10,000 point shield on her own. And all right, the Great Zero, Protection Magic, Farabi, draw trigger. We have three in the deck, adding one in, playing four. Next, the Great Zero, Invigorate Sage, heal trigger, skill, auto. When this unit is placed in the Guardian Circle, if your opponent's attacking unit has attacked two or more times this turn, this unit gets plus 15,000 shield until end of battle. Active this battle's second attack this turn or more. Silver Invigorate Sage, a powerful heal trigger to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation decks with skill. When used to guard with what the conditions of its skill are met, Invigorate Sage can then serve as a potential 25,000 point shield on its own. Ideally, Invigorate Sage is a counter heal best played against opponents who play decks that specialize in re-standing attacking multiple times their units, either their vanguard or your guard. And okay, the Great Zero, Invigorate Sage, heal trigger, we have two in the deck, leaving it that way, next up. The Great Zero, Healer of Heavenly Staff Arshus, Heal Trigger, not playing her anymore, taking her out, and in her place we are putting in the Great Zero, Hardiness, Tier Sorceress, Heal Trigger, Skill, Auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, if the attacking unit's critical is 2 or greater, and its critical is increased by a non-trigger effect ability, or its original critical is 2 or greater, this unit gets plus 15,000 shield until end of battle. Silver Hardiness Tier Sorceress, another powerful heal trigger to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation decks with her skill. When used to guard with while the conditions of her skill are met, Hardiness Tier Sorceress can then serve as a potential 25,000 point shield on her own. Ideally, Hardiness Tier is a counter heal best played against opponents who play decks that specialize in increasing their attacking unit's critical, vanguard, rear guard by skill or card effect. And Okie dokie, the Great Zero, Hardiness Tier Sorceress, Heal Trigger, we are putting two into the deck. Two is fine. And finally, the Great Zero, Light Dragon, DD of Honors, Amatonia, Over Trigger, Skill, Trigger, Additional Effect. Until end of turn, you also perform drive checks for the battles your rear cross attack. So for Amatonia, it's the Over Trigger for the Keter Sanctuary Nation. Like any other Over Trigger in the Card Fight Vanguard training card game, it features the same skill and activation. When revealed during a drive check or damage check, you get 100 million power and draw a card, but it also features an ability, you need it alone. When revealed during a drive check on your turn, for the rest of the turn, all of your rear guards that attack can also perform drive checks, giving you, giving you the increased chances of getting a trigger to potentially pressure or finish off your opponent, or at least to restock your hand of more defensive cards to guard against your opponent's attacks later. And affirmative, the Great Zero, Light Dragon, D Deep Honors, Amatonia, or Trigger. We have one in the deck, leaving it that way. And of that, the deck's been built. Card ups explained, saving deck, overhead deck being built. Yes. Donald and for the cards in this deck, we are playing four, Great Three, Majesty Lord Blaster. Four, Great Two, Blaster Blade. 4, Great 2, Knight of Loyalty, Bedivere. 4, Great 2, Blaster Dark. 4, Great 2, Knight of Inheritance, Emmeline. 3, Great 1, Aegis Mare Dragon. 1, Great 1, Elementaria Sanctitude. 4, Great 1, Armor Piercing Knight, you gain. 4, Great 1, Knight of Friendship K. 1, Great 1, Little Sage Marin. 1, Great 0, Wing Gull Brave, starting unit. And for the triggers of this deck, we are playing 7 Critical Triggers. Four draw triggers. Four heal triggers. And last but not least, one over trigger, Amatonia. And of that, the deck's been built. 
card effects explained. Now it's time to test out a deck. So let's leave the edit deck menu and return to main menu. Off to fight menu and CPU fight. Selecting the deck I just built, the Keter Sanctuaries, Majesty Lord Blaster, D Booster 6 deck. Selecting deck and choosing opponent. I'm gonna test it out on is I'm testing out on Dragon Empires, Noi Taito, normal difficulty. And the battle begins. Let's get started. Here we are entering the fight. Deciding who goes first. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. Paper, scissors. I lose. Going second. Draw our starting hands. I got a heal. Perfect guard. New game. Draw trigger and blaster dart. Holding on to one of each normal unit. Setting all triggers back. Redraw. Blaster dart and one critical. Not too bad. My opponent's going first. He rides. The great one, Tamayura. He's going critical for the drop cost. And he's adding Rurumi to hand. That's the end of my opponent's turn. My turn. I draw a new game. Not bad. I write from the right deck. Little Sage Marin for the right deck cost. I'm discarding one new game. Discard and write Little Sage Marin. Wingo Brave skill. Draw one card. And draw a Benavir. Not bad. Conserving my hand. Going straight to battle phase. Marin attacks the Vanguard. 8k. The tech goes through. Drive check. No trigger, another new game. And light right chains down. Boom! One damage. No trigger. Rar me. Safe. End of my turn. My opponent's turn. My opponent rides. Great T Tamayura. Tamayura skill. And calling Rurumi and Rurumi and Tensha Stead. Rurumi attacks the Vanguard. Hmm. I guard with one new game. 13k, guard. Got and. Kachink, safe. Vanguard to Vanguard, gonna let it go through. No guard, taking the attack. Drive check. Ah, heal trigger, come on! Now he's back to zero damage, so unfair! Ah. Damage check. No trigger, blaster dark, come on! Now it's 28k from the remaining Rurumi. I can't guard it, so... No guard, taking the attack. Ow! Damage check. Heal trigger. Ooh, that was lucky. I heal one damage, heal, and power the Vanguard. Huh. I was worried there for a second, but no worries now. So my turn, I stand and draw. I ride from the right deck, Blaster Blade for the right deck cost. I'm discarding. One, hmm, discarding one critical trigger, blade better, discard, and ride Blaster Blade. Blast, Little Sage Baron skill. Look at the top seven cards in my deck for a blaster, and nope, no great two blasters. Instead, Sapir Call, Wingo, Brave to the rear guard, call here, call. Blaster Blade skill, counter blast one, counter blast, and. Retire one rear guard. I retire. I am retiring Tensha Set. One rear guard down. What's to worry about? Next, I'm calling to the rear guard. Let's see. I call Knight of Inheritance Emmeline to rear guard. Calling Emmeline skill. Soul Blast one, Soul Blast, and search the top five cards of my deck for a blaster. And lucky me, I got. A Majesty Lord Blaster adding to hand. And discarding one from hand, I'm discarding one. Hmm, discarding, I guess I'll discard for the great for the cost. One new gain, discard. And I'm calling Knight of Loyalty Benavir. Call! That should be enough. On to battle phase. First up, Benavir attacks the left side room. 10k to 10k. Intercept. 15k. Attack fails. No worries. Now boosted by Wingall Brave. Hold on. Rumi skill goes to Soul and boosted by Wingall Brave. Blaster Blade attacks the Vanguard. 16k. Emmeline skill plus 5,000 power when a blaster attacks. Power added. And the attack goes through. Drive check. No trigger. Another Blaster Blade. Not too bad. 
slash, damage. one damage, damage ship, and perfect guard, nice, one less card to worry about. Now, Emmeline attacks the rear guard, rear me, 15k, 10k, he tackles through, and pierce. One less rear guard to worry about, that's the end of my turn, my opponent's turn. My opponent's riding the grade 3 Tamayura, he rides, and now he calls Rarami and Fudomaru. Fudomaru attacks the Vanguard. I'm gonna intercept with Betabir. Intercept, 15k. The attack fails. Good shape, safe. Now here comes the attack from the Vanguard, 13k. Skill Tamayura. Superior call a card. He superior calls. Another rear me. Rumi skill, he can. What can he do? He just he just moved a rear guard to the soul. He removed my ah Emily moves the soul. Not good. Fine, no guard. Take the attack. Dry check first. Ah, heal trigger. Come on. Again, he's back to zero damage. Second check. No trigger. Ah, for solar ride too. So lucky. Here comes one damage. Ah, damage check. Draw trigger. Oh, that was close. All effects to Vanguard. And now, one more attack from the rear guard. I guard the critical. Soul guard 35k. And Kachink safe. End of my opponent's turn, my turn, stand and draw. I ride from the right deck, match the Lord Blaster. For the right deck cost, I'm discarding one Blaster Dark, discard and ride, match the Lord Blaster. Next, I'm calling Blaster Dark to the rear guard, calling Blaster Dark skill, counter blast one, counter blast, retreat, wing ball brave, retreat, and retire one rear guard. And retreating. From the rear guard, rear me, retire, and next I'm calling to the rear guard, Knight of Inheritance, Emmeline. Call! Emmeline skill, I soul blast one, soul blast Emmeline, soul blast, and check the top five cards of my deck for a blaster. I'm adding blaster dark to my hand, add it. Hold on, um, nope, just gonna call to rear guard instead, calling. Calling over... Calling over here. And finally, I'm calling one Blaster Blade to the rear guard. Calling. That should be enough. On to battle phase. First up, Blaster Dark attacks the Vanguard for fifth. Attacks the Vanguard for 15k. Emmeline skill plus 5,000 power. And my opponent intercepts. 18k and the attack fails but now here comes no then Rami skill into soul now my vanguard attacks the vanguard skill majesty lord blaster i move let's see i'm skipping blaster blade instead moving only blaster dark into soul into soul plus one drive and plus one critical emmeline skill plus 5000 power the attack goes through. Triple drive first. No trigger. Perfect guard. Not bad. Second check. Yes! Heal trigger! Well, that was lucky. I heal one damage. Healing and give power to Emmeline. Power up. And the third check. Alright! Over trigger! I give 100 million power to Emmeline and draw a card. I drew a game and give Emmeline drive plus one. Slash. Damage check first. No trigger. Second check. No trigger. Safe. Now a final attack from Emmeline. 100 million power. One drive to Vanguard. The tech goes through and drive check. No trigger. Another Emmeline. Not too bad. And Pierce. One damage. No trigger. Safe. And that's the end of my turn, my opponent's turn. My opponent's going to activate Tamayura's skill, power to front row, and for Sona Riding, I knew that was coming. 
key for Sona Rides and now calls Rear Me to the rear guard and Fudomaru. Here it comes, Fudomaru's Vanguard, 25k. I don't have enough cards to guard, so gotta let it go through, no guard. Ow! Damn a shit. No trigger, Emmeline, not good. Fudomaru's skill, drop and draw. He just got the perfect guard. Why? Now it's Vanguard to Vanguard. Tamayura's skill, superior calling, one rear guard. He superior calls, another Rarami. Using Rarami's skill, the Soul Blast and draw one. No guard, taking the attack. Drive check first. No trigger, great two. Second check. Ah, critical, come on! Crit to Vanguard and power to rear guard. So here comes two damage. Fire rains down on me and... Ow! Damage check first. Yes! Draw trigger! Lucky! Power to Vanguard and draw. I drew a better beer. Second check. No trigger, perfect guard, not good. Rear guard to Vanguard, 35k. I guard the heal trigger, invigorate Sage, and intercept with Emmeline. Total 40k, just enough. Guard! Intercept. And safe. Kachink. One more attack from the rear guard, 25k. I guard with. I guard with Bedivere. Guard, 30k, just enough. And attack blocked. Kachink, safe. End of my opponent's turn, my turn. Stand and draw. Ah, critical, come on. Whatever, gonna Persona Ride and Majesty Lord Blaster. Persona Ride, Majesty Lord Blaster, draw another better beer. And I'm gonna now call to the rear. I move Blaster Blade to the front. Call Emmeline to the rear guard. Call Emmeline's skill, Soul Blast 1, Soul Blast Majesty Lord Blaster, Soul Blast, and look at the top five cards in my deck, and success! I add Majesty Lord Blaster to my hand. Another Persona Ride available, discarding from my hand for the cost one Bedivere. Discard. I call... And call you gain to rear guard. Calling over here. Call! Hmm, should I use Mugain skill? Uh, nope, not gonna risk it. Not activating Mugain skill, that should be enough. On to battle phase. First up, Blaster Blade attacks... The Vanguard, 20k. Emmeline skill, plus 5,000 power. He guards me critical, 28k. The attack is blocked. No worries. Now boost up a new gain. Majesty Lord Blaster attacks the Vanguard, 33k. Two criticals. Majesty Lord skill. I move Blaster Blade into the soul and retire one rear guard. I'm retiring. Rarami, retire, and next up, I move Blaster Dark into the soul. And plus one drive to Vanguard. Emmeline skill, plus 5,000 power. My opponent perfect guards, and for the perfect guard cause, he's discarding. A heal trigger, triple drive, first check. Yeah, heal trigger, lucky! I heal one damage, healing, and give power to Emmeline. Power up. Second ship. Yeah, critical trigger! I give all effects to Emmeline. Double trigger, sweet and really good ones. Now the third ship. Yes, another critical! All effects to Emmeline. Total 60,000 power, three criticals. My Vanguard attack fails, but now here comes an attack from Emmeline. 60k to the Vanguard. Ah, another perfect guard. Come on. He discards for the perfect guard cost. A great two. And Emmeline's attack fail. Not good. 
End of my turn, my opponent's turn. My opponent's activating time on your skill, power to front row. He calls a great two, and rear guard to vanguard, 15k. No guard, taking the hit. Ow! Good damage check. Yes! Critical! Just when I need it. I give all effects to my vanguard. Tamaruru can only call rear guards from Soul. 18k to Vanguard. Skill of Tamaruru. Nothing to call, but I can't risk the chance of my opponent double criticaling me or over triggering me, so I better just use my perfect guard. Perfect guard. And for the perfect guard cost, I'm discarding. One heal trigger. Hardiness to your sorceress. Perfect guard activated. Twin Drive, first check. No trigger, Tensha dead. Second check. Ah, critical! He gives all effects to his rear guard. I made the right choice at least, so the attack fails. Ka chink safe! Now rear me attacks the Vanguard for 25k. One card to guard, I guard with Sol. 20, 40k, attack blocked. And. Ka chink safe! Survive another turn. End of my opponent's turn, my turn. Stand and draw. Better beer, not bad. I Persona Ride, Majesty Lord Blaster. Here it comes. Persona Ride. Draw a card. K, not bad. I call to the rear guard, Knight of Lonesy Bedivere. Calling. Bedivere's skill, hold on. Let me just check. Do I have still been enough haze in my deck? I have. In my drop zone, I have no Ks, all right. Then in my damage zone, I have no Ks. Counting still have four Ks in deck. Three if you minus the one in my hand, so it's worth the risk. So Counter Blast 1, Counter Blast, and Soul Blast 1, Soul Blast. Search my deck for one Knight of Friendship K and Superior Call. Over here, Call. And I call one more K to the rear guard. Call. That should do it. On to the battle phase. Boost up a new game. Majesty Lord Blaster attacks the vanguard. 33k, two criticals. Emmeline's skill. Plus 5,000 power and... Majesty Lord Blaster skill, but no blaster, dark star, blaster blades, so nothing to move to soul. My opponent double guards. 48k, two pass, first check, no trigger, another first soda ride, not bad, second check, blaster blade, not bad, so there we go, another fail, but here's 33k, here's 33k, same, boosted by K, Emmeline attacks the vanguard, 33k, the attack goes through, and pierce, one damage, ah, critical, come on! All affects the Vanguard. Not good for me. 38k, 33k, 115k shield can block it, so I'm just gonna attack the rear guard rear me. 33k. The attack goes through and slash! One less rear guard to worry about. That's the end of my turn. My opponent's turn. My opponent's activating Tamayura's skill, powered front row. He calls Rarmi and Tenchestead. That's all from him, so rear guard to Vanguard. No guard, taking the hit. And... Ow! Damage check. No trigger, Elementary Sanctitude. Now it's Vanguard to Vanguard. Skill of Tamayura. Superior call 1, but nothing to call, so... I perfect guard with Aegis my Dragon, perfect guard. For the perfect guard cost, I'm discarding Blaster Blade, discard, drive check first, ah, front trigger, power to front row, not good, second check, ah, heal trigger, come on, he cannot heal but still adds more power, not good for me, Kachink, safe. Now 43k from the rear guard. Hope I can block it. Double guard for 45k, just barely enough. Guard! 45k and attack blocked. 
Kachink safe. <sighs> Just barely survived. And if my opponent's turn, my turn, stand and draw. I Persona Right and Majesty Lord Blaster. Persona Right! Majesty Lord Blaster! Draw another K, and that's all from main phase, onto battle phase. Boost up my new game. Majesty Lord Blaster attacks the Vanguard, 33k. Two criticals. And Emmeline skill, plus 5,000 power. Power added, and... Majesty Lord Blaster skill, but nothing to move to soul, so... Double guard, 43k, 48k. Two pass, first check. No trigger, Blaster Blade, and second check. Yeah, heal trigger! I heal one point of damage, healing, and give power to Emmeline. Power added. I think my opponent only has one card left in hand to intercept. I think he can win this round. Let's just hope he doesn't get any lucky triggers. Boosted by K, better be your attacks to Vanguard. 33k to the Vanguard. The attack goes through, and slash! One damage, damage check. No trigger, Tamayura, one less card to Persona right with, safe. Now boosted by K, go Emmeline to the Vanguard, 43,000 power. The attack goes through, and pierce! One damage, damage check. No trigger, safe. Six damage, I win. <sighs> that was a pretty good fight. Despite some lucky triggers from my opponent, I still managed to get a pretty good win, but to try out the new cards in the deck as well, so... I got win, double critical, triple trigger, plus four heal triggers, attack 100,000 more power, perfect guarded, drew an over trigger, did a persona ride, 10 turns passed, did a superior call, and retired five opposing units. I caught 45 50 pp, total 16,275 pp, pressing A to go next, leaving the fight, and returning to fight menu. Leaving fight menu, back to main menu, and onward to the edit deck menu. And with that, I finished testing out the deck, and as well as explaining the deck's build and card effects. So of course I want to say is, thank you to the viewers for watching today's video, and to please stay tuned for more videos I plan to upload again in the near future. I also hope you all show your support by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my videos and channel. And with that I say, goodbye! And...